So I used to be the girl who would just do a couple ab exercises, like weighted ab exercises at the end of every single weightlifting session at the gym. And I just would not see like results. You're hitting those muscles in a different way than you would in weightlifting. So because of that, you're seeing more definition in your muscles. But I noticed that my skin and my hair is so much more healthier. Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited for today's video, but before we get into it, I do have just very two quick disclaimers or announcements, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the first one is that the lighting in this video is probably going to go in and out. It's about to storm because as I'm recording it, this video, um, a hurricane is coming our way to here in Florida. So when this video actually goes live, I think it's supposed to hit where I live. So definitely could use your thoughts and prayers. I don't think, I don't know. You really can't say much about hurricanes in Florida. It can go very bad or literally can just be just wind. So yeah, I just hope it doesn't hit hard. But the second announcement um, is along the lines of natural disasters as well. And as you guys can see, I'm repping my Hawaii shirt. I've been repping all my Hawaii gear this past couple weeks. But if you didn't know, Maui has just had horrible wildfires. So much so that so many people have lost their lives, their homes, their pets, even babies. And it's just so incredibly heartbreaking but i am very very grateful that the family and friends that i have that live in maui are safe all the adsense from this video will be donated to help those in maui however if you don't have the time to sit through ads i completely understand but i will have some resources down below if you want to personally donate as well so that was my quick little disclaimer. So I have all the notes that I have here on my computer. So if you see me looking at my computer, that is why. So I have been doing Pilates and yoga consistently. So for at least twice a week for over a year now. And I, spoiler alert, I swear by it, you guys. It has truly changed my life and my health as a whole. Not just like my body, my physical appearance, but so many different aspects of my health, which I will obviously get into in today's video. One of the biggest questions I get is if I go to like a Pilates studio or a yoga studio, and I do not, you guys. So this just goes to show that you do not need to pay so much money a month to go to a Pilates studio or yoga studio to see results. I literally go on YouTube. So the person that I follow is Move with Nicole and I absolutely love her so much. She not only just explains how to have good form so well, but she really focuses on that mind to muscle connection as well as breathing techniques. And breathing technique within Pilates and yoga is so beneficial for your health as well. And yeah, that's literally, that's all I've been doing. Actually, I have been going to a lot of free yoga events here in my city. And I feel like almost every state has to have it or every city has to have like different free yoga events going on. So for me personally, every month before this um, farmer's market that I go to, they host a, like an hour long free yoga session right next to the river. It is so amazing. So I do that with my friends and there's also another yoga studio that does like free yoga sessions in the park next to the river as well. So I've been doing that as well besides Move with Nicole. But besides that, I literally have not spent one penny on Pilates or yoga classes. So this just again goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to do Pilates and yoga. So that little spiel is over. So let's just get right into the first thing that I've noticed since doing Pilates and yoga consistently for a year now. So the first one is pretty obvious, but just hear me out. Um, the first one is better core strength and stability. So I've talked about this in other videos. I think it was my health and fitness Q and A, but I mentioned that there is a huge difference between trying to get abs and having a strong core. And so I used to be the girl who would just do a couple ab exercises, like weighted ab exercises at the end of every single weightlifting session at the gym. And I just would not see like results that I should be seeing. Obviously everybody's body is different, but the second that I started doing Pilates 
and yoga consistently, y'all, obviously it has shown my definition in my core is so much more popping, but most importantly, my core strength and stability is 110 times better. Like I cannot explain how much it has made a difference in just not just my weightlifting, but in my everyday movements which I will get into, but um, in terms of my weightlifting, because I have a stronger core and I'm more stabilized, I guess you can say, I have such way better form in my workouts and I notice that I actually can lift heavier. I'll be right back. It is burning up in my house or it probably is just me, so hold on. So the next thing that I noticed since doing Pilates and yoga consistently is that it kind of goes with the first one, but I have way better posture due to having a stronger core and just a more stabilized core. So I did not realize that your core strength has a lot to do with how you literally hold yourself and your posture. Um, not saying that my posture was bad, but I just, I always had a little, just a little slump, um, but ever since doing Pilates and yoga and having a stronger core, I noticed that I'm just holding myself a little bit more better and just my chest is up more. I noticed that I don't have to be so mindful or remind myself to, you know, keep my back straight when sitting or standing. It just kind of just is natural now. I don't have to like remind myself because I have a stronger core. And how I noticed that is literally just when I edit my YouTube videos. So if you go back to my old YouTube videos, like when I'm in my kitchen, I'm doing like a talk or something, you, you can see a little, a little hunchback, but it's okay. But now when I edit my videos and I look at my posture, I don't have that anymore. So that is definitely um, a confidence booster for me personally, but also obviously in terms of yoga, doing those stretching movements and really just um, releasing all that tension in my shoulders and in my back from editing and hunching over my computer all day or sitting in a car or um, hunching over my counter and cooking. That has obviously helped release all that tension which then in return helps my posture as well. That is the second thing that I've noticed. The third thing that I've noticed since doing Pilates and yoga consistently is that I have way, way more definition in my muscles. So this is due to the fact that when you are doing Pilates, you are working your muscles and those other little itty bitty muscles that you don't typically work when you're doing weightlifting, like when you're doing squatting and deadlifting or bicep curls or lat pull downs, all those compound movements, for example. But when you're doing Pilates, because they do like all these different type of movements, like the rainbow legs or like the Superman pose, you're hitting those muscles in a different way than you would in weightlifting. So because of that, you're seeing more definition in your muscles. So that is the first noticeable thing since doing Pilates and yoga consistently is that I just have all my muscles just a little bit more fine tuned and chiseled, which is obviously everyone likes to see that. But yeah, when I was consistently just weightlifting and not doing Pilates and yoga, I was seeing results in terms of muscle growth, but not so much in muscle definition. So since doing it consistently, the definition is truly, truly insane. So the next thing that I noticed since doing Pilates and yoga consistently is more so on the health aspect of it. So I noticed that I'm less inflamed. So there are actually some studies that show that Pilates and obviously yoga which is pretty much the same thing, but Pilates taps into your parasympathetic nervous system. That is a whole video of itself, but basically it's just less stress on your body compared to high intensity exercises or like resistance training and weightlifting, but it is such a great workout as well, but it's just not as stressful on your body. So because it's not as stressful on your body, it doesn't spike your cortisol as much as other exercises would. And so when you have obviously less cortisol in your body, which is your stress hormone, then you just feel and look less inflamed. So that is the one huge thing that I noticed in my health. 
um, is that I just don't have a lot of inflammation. I don't feel as puffy. Um, I don't have a lot of like aches and pains throughout my body, especially in my joints. Also, and obviously there's so much more that goes into this, but I noticed that my skin and my hair is so much more healthier, which obviously not just doing Pilates will fix that, but focusing on your gut health and changing the things you eat and just eating more nourishing foods obviously will help that. And I have tons of videos on that, but I feel like this does play a huge part in you know, less stress on your body, less inflammation, and less breakouts on your skin, less hair loss, because you're not putting so much stress on your body. And obviously the breathing techniques within Pilates and yoga is why it is so, so amazing for your health, because there are just so many studies that show that deep breathing is amazing for your health, especially if you have lots of stress on your body and just high cortisol levels is focusing on that breathing technique and Pilates and yoga really forces you to focus on those breathing techniques. And then the last thing that I noticed since doing Pilates and yoga consistently for over a year now, and it's pretty obvious, but just hear me out, is that I am so much more flexible, obviously due to the yoga and Pilates, more specifically the yoga. So because I'm much more flexible and I feel more mobile, I guess you can say, this again helps my form in my workouts. This helps me lift heavier in my workouts. This also, like I said, helps with my posture. But yeah, just in general, being flexible in just everyday movements. And I feel like if you have done Pilates and yoga consistently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You just notice how your body reacts to things differently. You notice that you can do things better than you typically could before Pilates and yoga. You would just have, you just have to try it to understand what I'm talking about, but it just makes a huge difference on your body and your health as a whole. But this just goes to show that doing Pilates and yoga hand in hand while weightlifting is just an amazing workout routine. I truly believe it is just a well-rounded workout routine because you're working on your resistance training, your strength training, but you're also focusing on your core strength and your flexibility and mobility. And in general, it all goes hand in hand. It's going to correlate together. It's going to help each other out and it's just going to help your health as a whole. And that is something that I really, really try to push on my channel is just focusing on your health as a whole. That is it for today's video. I hope this video just inspired you to just incorporate different types of movement within your weekly workout routine. You don't have to stick to one type of exercise to see results. It is so, so beneficial to just incorporate different types of movement to just focus on your health as a whole, like I mentioned. And also, like I said, if you would like to personally donate to those who lost loved ones or their homes in Maui due to the wildfires, I will have resources down below. So I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you or talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.